explain the metaphor. The, the metaphor that they did, these two young gentlemen, uh, they're both teachers. They teach uh, art and technology. And the metaphor, the first one was a normal citizen who has a focus on accomplishing something in his mind and then goes out, takes a rock, throws it in the water. That's the metaphor for taking what you have in your mind, trying to make a difference, and then moving on into infinity. That's a metaphor for any citizen who wants to contribute something to the society that one lives in. I, I personally thought it was uh, very zen-like, and you were trying to contrast the uh, tone of the other candidates who are just kind of noisy. It's a, it's a cacophony, and you are projecting peacefulness and, and, na and, and, and a natural tone. Well, you're giving me too much credit. It goes, it goes to these two young 24-year-old teachers who, who, uh, who, well, I had the good sense to recognize they had some talent, they were trying to do something very artistic, and I just bought into it. And so they just told me what to do. It, was, it took a day to shoot it, believe it or not, they did a couple of others. And they were very thoughtful, they, no cost, they, they carried the burden themselves. And so what, it, what was flattering to me is they were viewing my candidacy that way, in a very positive, way and we're then creating a metaphor of my candidacy for the rest of the nation to see and that's what you've identified with you're seeing politics as usual what these two young men were saying was that's politics as usual this is a little more serious and this is a little more serious human being than these other people with uh, what they're saying yeah, and you and you broke through that way by by being different and being serious you say it's serious i say it you know, it's, there's an deba open debate on whether it's serious or not. Now, how do you, exp how do you explain the fire video? Well, the, what, what that is, first off, they brought up uh, all of those uh, branches from Los Angeles because where we were, it wouldn't burn. <clears throat> they knew that ahead of time because one of, the one of the kids lived in San Francisco. So what they did is they had me carry a bundle of uh, branches. And I'm walking around and picking up a branch here and a branch there, and a branch there. The bundle represents the wisdom or the knowledge and the experience I've acquired. And I'm reaching down and picking up more wisdom and more knowledge. And then I get to a point where I take all this wisdom and knowledge and I start a fire. And the fire is representative of warmth, knowledge, light, all of that. And so that's the metaphor of, of contributing something and lighting a fire, hopefully that will cause a change in people's hearts. That's a nice metaphor. And I'm flattered so. that they thought it up. I did not think it up. This was not meant as a spot. I, whatever they did, they were free to put it wherever they wanted to put it. I put no restrictions on it. You have, you have to do the four elements now. You've done water, <laughs> fire, Well, they're thinking earth, of, and air. Well, earth is obviously uh, the, the environment, environment very much. And air is, is, of course, what we are in the cosmos. You know, and that could be love. I mean, that, that, uh, I would equate air with love. So, whatever, but whatever they decide, it, 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 it's their artistry. I equate air with change, because the winds of change are blowing. Oh, well, that, that, uh, that's very true. And, of course, do I represent change? <laughs> In I, th a big way. I think so. Now, you heard it first. The, next, the air, I, I inspired the Mike Gravel air uh, commercial. Can we call it a commercial? No, they don't call it a commercial, because, I, one, I'm not paying for it, and two, uh, I don't view it as a commercial. I view it as a work of art that they've imposed in this campaign and it's actually operated like a work of art. Stop and think. You look at the Mona Lisa, she's smiling, she's snickering, she's sad, happy. So when people look at the work that these young people have done, they read themselves into it. Uh, th I, what I gave you was my read as to what they did. Your read could be different. And you were just talking in terms of differences, what the other elements would mean. So, and now they're, they're obviously, they're getting a lot of recognition. I'm so happy for them. And it's brilliant. And, hey, it's making their careers. They're artists who teach, they teach art and technology. Can you imagine putting those two together and making it work?